Spiritual Flows. Life begins where fear ends. Insight into life, love and light. This is the insight into first chapter, what is life. Life is your spouse. Live life as if you are in honeymoon with life. Cherish it, love it and be it. Life is the mystery of the unknown. Live it totally. Do not try to solve it. Live the mystery of life. Life is the mystery to be lived, not a riddle to solve. Courage is the love of fear with the unknown, the life. Trust nourishes life and surrender helps you to flow with the current of life. Both trust and surrender are necessary for you to flow with life. Life blossoms out of you as a flower. If you love a flower, do not pick it up because the moment you pick up the flower, it dies, it is no more alive and it ceases to be what you love. You love the aliveness, the lusher, the beauty, the fragrance which is symbolic of aliveness in the flower. So if you love a flower, let it be. Love is not about position. Love is about appreciation. Fl flowing rhythmically, life is the flower that blossoms out of your innerness. As a river springs from its origin in the mountains, the river of life springs from the deepest core within. Life is synonymous with creativity. Creativity means to be in love with life. You can be creative only if you love life enough that you want to enhance its beauty, fragrance and its luster. You want to bring a little more music to it, a little more poetry, a little more dance. Creativity means experiencing life in all possible ways through opposites and all dimensions. Good, bad, bitter, sweet, dark, light, summer, winter. Experience the dualities. Do not be afraid of the experience. Remember, the more experience you have, the more mature you become. The more life is fulfilled through you. Life is your spouse. Never be afraid of it or its dualistic nature. Sadness gives depth to light. Happiness gives height to life. Sadness gives roots. Happiness gives branches. Like the roots, happiness is like the tree going towards the sky. And sadness is like the roots going down in the womb of the earth. Both are needed. And the higher the tree grows, the deeper goes its roots and it is simultaneous. The bigger the tree, the bigger will be its roots and deeper as well. It is always in the same proportion to maintain the balance. There are seven things or seven signs of the mysteries of life, moving, respiration, sensitivity, growth, reproduction, excretion and nutrition. All of these activities are present in living organisms. A non-living organism or a non-living object sometimes manifests one 
are more of these activities but not all of them all living things including plants move respiration goes beyond the breathing process respiration goes beyond the breathing process the general meaning of respiration as it applies to a sign of life is that chemical breakdown of complex organic substances such as carbohydrate and fats and this is necessary for energy the breakdown of complex organic substances as carbohydrate and fats is necessary for energy sensitivity involves the ability to detect change in the world around the organism all living things grow and mature reproduction or making other living things is necessary for sustaining life taking in and utilizing food as well as eliminating waste products are also signs of life remember each person comes into this world with a specific destiny something to fulfill some message to deliver some work has to be completed through you you are not here accidentally you are here meaningfully there is a purpose behind you the whole intends to be the whole intends to do something through you such is the way to understand life and such understanding helps you to live life as it comes moment to moment take hold of your own life and see what the existence is celebrating these trees are not serious these birds the rivers the oceans are wild and everywhere there is fun everywhere there is joy and delight watch existence listen to the existence and become a part of it remember life is already bubbling in you life is making its way from the source of its origin new life is ready to flow but life can only be contacted where it is bubbling temple of life is within and you are the shrine of it so first thing to remember if you want to know what life is never seek it outside never try to find it out from someone else because the meaning of life cannot be transferred and your meaning of life will differ from mine once you know what life is you will also know what death is death is part of the same process as life is you think death comes at the end of life it is erroneous both life and death are happening simultaneously both life and death are two polarities of the same existential bio energy death is an organic integral part of the process that we know as life both are like ebbs and flow ebbs and tide day and night summer and winter heat and cold neither separate nor opposite to one another not even contraries instead both are complementaries just as both breathing in and breathing out happens as a process so too life and death 
breathe life and death also breathing in is life and breathing out is death when a child is born the first thing he does is breathe in and thus begins the life and the last thing the old man does is breathe out and thus life departs both life and death are two wheels of a cart you live by breathing in as much as by breathing out breathing out is a part of breathing in and so too breathing in is part of breathing out you cannot live if you stop dying all your tensions in life are because you do not understand that dying is an integral part of living just as breathing in and breathing out are a two aspects of the same process breathing in happens naturally while breathing out is a conscious effort for balance both are essential once you understand this once you understand what life is you will understand and you will allow death to happen if you look into life you will be able to see what death is and only by understanding death you can live life totally when you are afraid of death you are afraid of living as well just as both breathing and breathing out are two aspects of one process so too are life and death if you really want to live you should be ready to die each moment life and death are two sides of the same coin so how can life be against death or be afraid of death life and death are not against one another certainly ego is against both life and death ego is against life and is also afraid of death whenever you come to a total moment of aliveness suddenly you will see death is also waiting in love it happens moment of love is death of ego in the real moment of love you are at the climax of life that is why people are afraid of going deep into love in such moments when both life and death are happening together there will be happiness there will be sadness as well sadness gives depth happiness gives height both are necessary remember each one of you comes into this world with a specific destiny therefore one thing is certain you have to walk and create life by your walking certainly you will not find a ready made path that you can call life it is not so cheap to reach to the ultimate realization of truth that is life you will have to create the path by walking yourself the path is lying there and waiting for you it is just like the sky the birds fly but they do not leave any footprints behind you cannot follow them they are there are no footprints left behind so too as you walk you create the path and then that is created and all that is created vanishes as you take another step forward journey continues until you have arrived in life instead of lamenting for all that you do not have start counting on bounties that you are being bestowed upon each moment life will be a benediction enough for